How's it going YouTube? This is Reed Junkie here. Today I've got a video on the Motorola Droid Ultra and the Droid Max. It works the same on either device. I'm going to be showing you guys how to install Torp Recovery, Torp Custom Recovery on your device along with getting root access. Uh, so here you go. You can see right here this is my Droid Ultra. Uh, it has the Root Checker app on it and it proves right there, congratulations your device has root access. So very simple, we're going to get into it today, let's do it. So today I've got here my Motorola Droid Ultra and this is going to work on the Droid Ultra or the Droid Max. Um, actually could even work on other devices uh, if they match up with the recovery system we're going to be flashing to get this root access. So to do this, um, this is if you have an unlocked bootloader on your Droid Ultra Droid Max. Uh, it will not work without it. Now I will give you guys a link to uh, my website that gives you a video with directions on how to unlock the bootloader on this device. So that is going to pre be a prerequisite. After you've done that, Basically, you just got to go into uh, settings on the device and we'll go ahead and set up how to get root access on here. So, you're going to go into about phone, you're going to scroll to the build number and you're going to tap on it about 10 times. And then you're going to go back and it's going to enable developer options right there. And turn on that and then turn on USB debugging. There we go. And obviously you're going to have to have your Motorola drivers installed on your computer along with a ADB fastboot folder or Android SDK on your computer. Again, I'll link you guys to everything you're going to need. It'll be in the video description down below. Go ahead and connect your cable to your computer and you're probably going to get a pop-up. Here it is. Go ahead and allow USB debugging to this computer. Click always allow and hit OK. Alright, and then you can back out of the screen. Your device is set up now. Everything we need to do on the device should be good. We're going to go ahead and shoot over to my computer and show you the commands and some of the files you're going to need to do this. Alright, so here, this is my server right here. Um, basically, you're going to come here, I'll give you a link to it, hit Droid Ultra, and you're going to want to download right here this Torp image. Just go ahead and download it to your computer somewhere, click it and download it, it's very simple. Then you want to come over here to Super Sue and uh, download the newest one I have listed right now. It is the 2.01. I'll upload a new one. It'll probably be newer when you see this video. There's newer ones out, so I'm going to try to update that for you guys. Just come in there and download that. And then uh, if you don't have an unlocked bootloader, this is my site, Root Junkie. I'm getting uh, messages there. And um, you're going to want to look at this video, how to unlock the bootloader on the Motorola Droid Ultra. Again, it should also work on the Droid Max, the Droid Mini, the um, bunch of HTC devices. This is using an app called Sunshine App. Definitely check this out if you want to do this way of rooting your device. Very, very cool app. Watch this one first. All right, so besides that, you're going to need to have the Android SDK or a Fastboot ADB folder set up. This is mine right here. Basically, it has an ADB EXE and a Fastboot EXE in it, those two files. And we're going to want to put those files you downloaded in there. Right there is my SuperSue update zip, but I need to get that uh, recovery file. So mine is uh, right here. I will copy that and just shoot back and uh, paste it in. So those are my two files right there, those two. All right, so from here we're going to copy this file. And we're going to put it in our device and I'm going to put it in downloads and I'll just paste it right here I'll just paste in that super suit file we'll just go back out get back to our ADB and a fast boot folder right here so from here what we have to do is go ahead and hold the shift on our computer and right click open command window here that opens this command window in the folder like I said mine is SDK platform tools but yours could be you know desktop ADB fastboot folder it really doesn't matter as long as you're in the folder that has your ADB ADB and your fastboot stuff along with your your, your files so from here um, all you're gonna do is test some driver stuff so ADB devices 
and because you allowed it it should be coming through as long as your drivers are installed correctly i'll also link you to those if you need them um not too hard most people have them already installed in their computers so uh, basically from here it should say uh the number and then say devices that means your drivers on adb are working so we're going to type in adb reboot boot loader and this is going to go ahead and reboot the device here you're going to see um, the bootloader menu and we're going to test to make sure your fast boot drivers are now working correctly so we're going to do fast boot devices and again you have a number right here and uh, fast boot so now this is where we're going to do the uh, torp recovery so there's two things you can do here one would be go ahead and flash torp recovery to your device um, and the other one would be boot well I'm going to use boot because right now I don't really see you know, I kind of want to be able to keep my OTA updates, I guess, is what I would try to sell you. And if I boot it, I still have stock recovery. If I get an OTA update, I can take the OTA update. Um, if I flash it, then it's permanently on there. But then it allows me to flash custom uh, ROMs and cool stuff, too. So you just got to pick what you want to do. I'm going to show you how to do it where it boots it, but you keep stock. So to do that, we're going to type in fast boot boot space. And then the easiest way to do this is just to grab the image and drag it in. And there you go. And then just hit enter. And booting. And you should be good. Interesting. Bootloader command restricted. Hmm. Let's try one more here really quick. Fast boot boot and then we're gonna put that recovery image in again but we'll do it a different way we'll go rename highlight it copy make sure it has the dot img in the end and paste and then hit enter again it says uh, remote failed this might be because of the way this thing's unlocked it's kind of a hack so we're going to actually flash it. It'll be permanent this way, but we'll get root access none the same. So we'll do fast boot flash recovery space, and then we'll drag the image in again. There we go, and hit enter. And there you go. That time everything was successful. So then we're done on the computer. Let's go ahead and show you this other step. So from here, you're going to want to scroll down with your volume down to recovery. Oh, I scrolled too far, but do not hit volume up because it'll select factory. So we want to keep going. And now it's got recovery, and then we're going to go ahead and volume up and select recovery. And there you go, there is the bootloader unlocked warning. I think it is interesting that I couldn't boot anything to this device. I was a little surprised about that. I'm going to go ahead and unplug the cable. Um, this is going to go ahead and let you install that root access so from here to get root access you're just going to go to install you're going to go to downloads where you put that super su zip right there select it make sure it's listed it is swipe across to flash and shabam reboot system and once this thing boots up you will have root access again there's that unlocked bootloader warning um, I'm, like I said, I'm a little bit curious. I don't know why this won't allow me to fast boot, boot um, the Torp image. I'm a little bit surprised about that. Uh, definitely want to kind of play with that. I'm going to ask Jay Case, the, the developer of Sunshine app, to see if that's something that is unique to Sunshine app unlock or what's going on right there. So here you go. It's saying Android is upgrading. That's just because you flashed that Super Sue zip. So from here, we're just going to go ahead and uh, unlock the device. We're going to go into uh, Root Checker. And as long as I don't do this too quickly, it should function correctly. Go ahead and verify Root Access. And congratulations, your device has Root Access. There you go. That's it. Um, this obviously, like I said, did install uh, Torp Recovery on your device. So you do have that on there already. Um, and you have root access. Very, very simple, uh, easy to do. A couple commands on the computer and you're rocking and rolling. Hope you guys like this little video here on the Droid Ultra, Motorola Droid Ultra. 
Uh, stay tuned for more videos on this device. I'll be doing some ROM installs and some cool stuff like that. Definitely check out that Sunshine app if you guys haven't done that yet. And we'll catch you guys next time. Root Junkie out. Yeah.